So as a last demonstration, let's explore for a minute the limits of what the program is capable of doing. Easy Voice Biometrics is very, very easy to use, but of course many people wonder just how good it is at finding these matches. So as a demonstration, I've recorded five samples of my voice. Let's put them all in our comparison window by just dragging them in there. And we'll take all oh, one of them, a uh, speech sample in the clear, and put in our target window. Now, all of these are my voice. One has been bandwidth limited to only 2 kilohertz of speech energy. Uh, another has music mixed in with it. And you can hear the bandwidth limited one here. Early bases are cited as follows. A UX base is the 1920s four one with a disguised voice. In the early 60s, it was clear that the transistor would have one with music mixed in. So, how do we compare all of these with all of these different issues with them? Let's just press the Start Comparison button and you'll see. We'll move our results window up and you'll see that uh, the exact match, of course, is 100%. The music didn't bother the program at all. It's still 99% uh, match. The disguised voice, 96% match. And the bandwidth limited, 94%. So even though I tried to disguise my voice and make it difficult for the program, uh, it still had over 90% match. Anything around 85% is better is very, very high likelihood. And so there's a quick demonstration of Easy Voice Biometrics, the new easy way to do speaker identification.